material to upgrade your gear is absolutely essential in Lost Ark. Therefore, I want to show you options to get them. First, I start with the obvious ones. Everyone should do Chaos Dungeon twice a day. The dungeons North Vern, Andrew Handel, give you T1 mats, Jorn and Phaeton T2, and Punika T3. Inside the dungeon, you get perception shards as well. You can exchange those weekly at the NPC right next to the dungeon. Same goes for the Guardian Raid, twice a day for the souls. The distribution T1 to T3 is the same as for the Chaos Dungeons. Additionally, you should do the limit of daily and weekly Yuna quests. You may not get all of the different materials, but at least you can get the green ones. Many islands give you a good amount of resources. They may only be done once, but they are a great option anyway. One exception to this is the Fomona Island. You can do this once with a male and once with a female character. Now we get to the maybe not so obvious options. The tower, meaning Shade Spire and Fate Spire, can be cleared once per character. The reward changes after your first clear though. In the first playthrough, you get mainly skill books and cards. In the second one, you will get materials. In case you did not clear the tower yet, you can do it the first time with the second character. The rewards for the first clear mostly are roster bound, so you can easily give those items to your other character by using the roster storage to the left. If you are in a guild, you can get Simile Bloodstones by donating daily or supporting the research for example. You can exchange those stones for materials with a weekly limit. You can access more materials as your character progresses. When visiting a port with a ship, you can access the NPC ships there. You can recognize them by their blue minimap icon. Here you can exchange coins for pirate coins, but also use your pirate coins to buy material, again on a weekly basis. In different scenarios of the game, for example the Chaos Portals, not to be confused with the Chaos Dungeons, you can drop these maps. Everyone can vote on these with gold. Sadly, I don't have enough money to show you footage of that. But if you manage to get one, you should do it with a group, since everyone that enters gets materials. So gather some friends. Starting from Rehenna, you will get additional chests that contain materials. It seems that they only drop once, so you can go and do them once on normal and hard each. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Until next time!